I'm here at Crumbs and Doilies HQ to show you guys how to make one of our favourite classic cupcake flavours, the Rolo cupcake. Now, if you're not from the UK, you might not know what a Rolo is, but it is these, and they are yummy, chewy caramels covered in chocolate, and they are delish. So we basically, a long time ago, cupcake them and uh, made them really tasty and they're a big hit in the shop. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys how to make them yourselves at home. It's really simple. The first thing I'm going to do is to make the caramel and I'm going to use this to fill the cakes and to put in the icing. So I've got myself a saucepan here. I'm going to add 175 grams of caster sugar and then pour over that 75 millilitres of water. And I'm going to get that going over a medium heat and what I'm looking for is a rich amber colour at the end, which will take about five minutes. And it's really important not to stir this at all because that can make it crystallise. And that's looking lovely and amber coloured. So now I've taken it off the heat and I'm going to pour my cream in. I've got 175 millilitres of double cream and this is very, very steamy, so watch out. So just keep stirring it until all the bubbles have subsided. And please bear in mind that it is still going to be super, super hot. So you need to leave this for some time. But first of all, I'm going to add a half teaspoon of good quality vanilla extract and stir that in. So I'm leaving that to cool down. And when it's cool, I'll put it in the fridge because that wants to be completely cold when I use it later. And for now, I'm going to get on with making the cupcake. And these are my classic yummy chocolate cupcakes. Um, I've made them before. If you haven't made them before, then get ready for some deliciousness. They're a really easy method. You don't even need a mixer. You just need a bowl, another bowl, and a whisk. So I've got 140 grams of plain flour, which I'm going to put through my sieve, along with 185 grams of caster sugar and 30 grams of cocoa powder. I've also got a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. I'm also going to add 40 grams of chocolate chips. And I'm just going to whisk that all together just to make sure it's all really well combined. So put that to one side and now you can make your wet mixture. So another bowl is necessary and into that I'm going to crack an egg, a large egg this time. And to that I'm going to add 125 grams of buttermilk, 120 millilitres of cold coffee and 100 millilitres of vegetable oil. And just give that a really good whisk till it all comes together. And now you can add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients and give that a really good mix as well. Now I do get a lot of people asking me about the coffee element of this uh, recipe. Um, a lot of you say you don't like coffee. Um, you won't taste the coffee, but if you're really anti-coffee, then you can just use water instead. It won't have quite the same depth of flavor as this, but it'll still work. So when it's ready and nice and smooth, you want to transfer that into a jug because uh, it can get very messy pouring into the cupcake cases. It's already a little bit messy. This will minimise the, the mess a little bit. So now I've got a 12 hole cupcake tin lined with paper cases already and I just want to put an equal amount in each hole. And then these need to be baked at 160 degrees C for 20 to 22 minutes. You want to make sure they're ready by checking them on the top. They're nice and springy or stick a toothpick in it. And if it comes out clean, they're ready to roll. While the cakes are baking, I'm going to make the buttercream, which is going to be a delicious, silky caramel buttercream. And I'm going to use half of my batch of caramel that I made earlier, which is nice and cool now. And to start with, I'm going to beat my butter. So I've got 200 grams of soft, unsalted butter in my bowl already. I'm going to beat that on quite a high speed for about five minutes until it's really pale. All right, that's looking lovely and light and fluffy. So now I'm going to add the icing sugar. I've already sifted it and I've got 320 grams. And as usual, I'm going to add it in two stages, beating for a few minutes after each stage. Now that that's had a few minutes beating, it's ready to add the caramel. And I'm, like I said, going to add just half of this. And don't worry about being too precise with it. Just kind of wing it. And if it feels too stiff, add a little bit more. And then just beat that again for another three or four minutes, and then it'll be ready. That looks amazeballs. So it's got a really lovely golden color. 
It's a very nice consistency and I can't wait to eat it. But my cakes are still baking. I've got to wait for those to cool down before I use any of this. So I'm just going to put this to one side, wrap it in cling film and wait for my cakes. The time has come for assembly. My cakes are cool. I've got all my bits and bobs ready. I've got my buttercream in a piping bag. I've also got the remainder of my caramel in a piping bag. And I made a small amount of ganache, which was just 50% cream, 50% chocolate, just melted together. That's in a piping bag too. So now it's assembly time. So to start with, I'm going to make some room for my caramel by coring the middle of my cupcakes. And now I can fill these holes with my lovely caramel. And next, I'm going to top it with some buttercream, finish it with ganache, and then put a Rolo on top. And that is the Rolo cupcake finished and ready to eat, which is great because I'm very hungry. And if you're in Soho this weekend, we're going to have these in the shop all weekend. So go and get yourself one if you haven't got time to make them yourselves. But if you do make them yourselves, then brilliant. Take a picture, hashtag Cupcake Gemma on Instagram. I love seeing what you guys get up to. And if you're watching this and you've enjoyed this video, but you haven't subscribed yet, then please go and subscribe to my channel because I upload every Thursday a new recipe or behind the scenes video. And if you click the notification bell down there as well, I, you won't miss a trick. You won't miss any of my videos. So please go and do that. I'll be back next Thursday with another recipe. So I'll see you then. Bye. Mmm. Oh, I lost my Rolo.